The roar of those jets can only mean one thing. The Chicago Air and Water Show is back, the first full show since before the pandemic. You've seen the Air Force and Navy jets twisting through the skyline. Quite the sight. But do you know that the plane that fuels them, do you know about it? Well, CBS 2's Marissa Parra is bringing us along for what is a ride of a lifetime. This is the KC-135. This is used to refuel other planes up in the sky. It allows them to stay in the sky for longer. This is built in 1959, so wish us luck. Up the stairs and up and away in the skies aboard this tank of a plane. Specifically, it's called a stratotanker. It's bigger in size and lesser known in fame than stars like the Blue Angels. But the KC-135 has a mammoth of a job to serve as a hovering gas station. A fuel pump in the skies. It's very tight and, and high precision and uh, it's pins and needles every time you you uh, you, you perform that task yeah. and uh, but it's also very rewarding. Brian Ellendorfer works for the show. His job is to get all the jets here to Chicago and to keep them flying but he also used to work on the KC-135. He was what you call the boom operator. He did what this guy does now, using a controller, laying on the stomach, guiding an attachment full of fuel from the back of the plane to a very hungry jet. It's not real comfortable, but it's 1950s technology when that aircraft was built, so the ergonomics aren't the best, but uh, we work with what we've got. For crew members aboard the Stratotanker, this weekend is not just about a chance to show off their skills, it's also a homecoming. One Major Patrick Burke was trying to tell me about before we hit a little bit of turbulence. Ever since I was probably six or seven, um, Little bumpy. Here. Yeah. This will be the Schomburg native's very first time flying in the same show that inspired him to be the pilot he is today. How proud is your family? Super proud. I hear about it all the time, uh, so hi mom. <laughs> <laughs> well now when you see the jet refueling simulation happening from here on the ground, now you too will know what it looks like from up close. Now as we've mentioned, this starts from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday and Sunday. There are a lot of good places you can watch North Avenue Beach here being one of them. Also Fullerton Beach, Navy Pier, so you can watch where those planes are doing their turns. You can also check out none other than Gary Airport. Watch the planes as they take off and land. Maybe the pilots might even come over and say hello. Reporting from North Avenue Beach, Marissa Parra, CBS 2 News.